morning. Happy New Year's. It's New Year's Eve today. I hear the dogs crying over the sirens. This uh, poor bike's been sitting for a while, so it's got to be charged back up. Anyways, uh, yeah, stuff that's got to be done. Today, we're going to do the uh, carpet cleaning. The main, which one did you, did you, you didn't do anything with the fuel He pump? turned everything off. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, fuel pump on. Main, main fuel pump on. Switch the reaper truck. There you go. Now the switch on. Switch. Choke. 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 Corn tacked. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about the greatest technological advancement mankind has made in the last 100 years. I think. Good grief, John. That's, that's a big statement. That's a big thing to say. Well, yeah, it is. What is it, John? Is it the motorcycle? No. What is it, John? The internal combustion engine? Space travel. Space travel has got to be the greatest technological advancement that mankind has made in the last hundred years, and I say no. The printed microchip. No. Uh, no, not even that. Standardization of tooling. You're getting close. You're getting real close. So, man, nobody can mess up camera work like I can. <laughs> I flipped the phone around and the whole rest of the video was upside down. So here we are. <clears throat> the, uh, seven hours later. Got the carpet cleaning machine running for the most part. The burner didn't work right, but we'll get that fixed over time. Uh, me and Ben will work on that probably this next weekend. Uh, Mom and Gabe got in and got the carpet cleaned in our room, which is kind of cool. Uh, that whole thing was uh, upside down. <laughs> anyway, uh, what I was going to talk to you guys about with standardized tooling is what a big deal it is. Uh, you know, this is a half inch wrench. It's a combo wrench, right? Uh, this is my typical S12 millimeter. Here's my half inch. This is my typical half inch combo wrench. Uh, open it on one end, box in on the other. Uh, 12 point. Anyway, the importance of standardized tooling. Your car is full of. Uh, your car is full of half inch fasteners, nuts, bolts, screws. Uh, where the hex head on it is uh, half inch. You buy a trailer, it's got that stuff in it. You buy any machinery for a plant, it's got that stuff in it. And uh, yeah, it's all it's all standard. So your tools uh, work across the board. It doesn't matter what make, model, brand, whatever you're working on. Your tools all work on the you know just about everything. This bag that I have here. See if I can get it in the shot properly. This bag has, you know, the basic tools that I need 
for doing my job, but it'll do just about anything. I can grab this bag. Uh, if you've got these wrenches in uh, half inch, nine sixteenths, seven sixteenths, uh, three eighths, and five eighths, uh, you can do ninety percent of the work out there. The, the whole world's put together with those few sizes of uh, fasteners. So, uh, I mean, there's some other stuff. Of course, I got my uh, my metric and my standard adjustable wrenches. <clears throat> Even standardized tooling, I would not say is the greatest technological advancement of the last hundred years. That is the greatest technological advancement. Torque. 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 <laughs> right? You flip a little switch oh, and you go the other way. Oh, look at that. Got my hands dirty. Oh well. Torque. Torque. Right? How amazing is that? What a phenomenal piece of equipment. That little ratcheting head in there. And man, that thing is, you can hear how small that is. You can hear how small that is. Ooh. And the torque it can take is just phenomenal. You back it up with the other half inch wrench, the one that's normal, and uh, man, you, that is amazing what you can get done with that little tool right there. This is the, this is the other way to do that. You know, torque, ratchet, you know. It's not a, even though this is New Year's Eve, that's not a party maker, that's, you know. Right there, I'm loosening. And then uh, you flip the little lever. And that's cool. That's been around for, you know, probably a hundred years, but um, tightening. You can see there, uh, see if I can get this in the shot properly. The different sizes that I carry in the bag 9 sixteenths. I think this one's the 7 sixteenths. Yeah, yeah, three, three eighths on that one, seven sixteenths behind it. The half inches on the socket. I used to keep the nine sixteenths because the machines I worked on that was the thing. It was uh, nine sixteenths was like the go-to size for everything. And uh, on the machines I work on now, half inches, so it changed out a little bit. But uh, anyways, that's in my opinion, that is phenomenal. But. Uh, I'm going to pull a box in wrench out and get ratchets. I think that's just, we're going into 2018. Yeah, these smartphones are cool and all that junk and rocket ships to Mars. And I guess they're launching a, a Tesla into space, a Model S or Model X. I don't remember which one now, but I still am far more amazed that those little wrenches have that ratcheting ability. So anyway, anyway. Uh, that's just uh, that's our day today New Year's Eve we got the carpet clean got the machine running again uh, the rest of the way <laughs> and I thought I would share that little bit of amazement for a stupid simple thing with you guys happy New Year's hope 2018 is better than 2017 has been for all of us uh, been a pretty shitty year <laughs> but uh not, not the worst yet. Not, not by a long shot. Anyway, catch you on the next one.